here? I think... Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. Oh, hello! Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Now you're one down. And what about Conrad? He, or rather you, should have been a bit less careless. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. You're agreed. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. This ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I, I saw him. I, I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? This, this just doesn't add up. He could be hurt. Bad, for all we know. Your brother runs as fast as his mouth. I'm not worried about him. Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia! He could be dying right now, we have to! We will, just not yet. Hey, uh, is everything okay? What are you talking about? Back in the cargo hold, you know, you, you ran out screaming your head off. <laughs> what? Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe like one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? It might be time to accept there's no gold here. Would have seen it by now.
What do you think actually happened on this ship? No idea. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. <laughs> Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? I guess that's one way to look at it. So according to this letter I found, the guards here were absolutely terrified of something on the ship. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. There's some unnatural shit going on here. It is unsuper freaking natural. Everything about this place is wrong. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it, that's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it's kind of crazy, but I wonder if the plane from the dive could have been shot down by this ship. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Oh, damn. Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. <sighs> I'll pull you up.
Hey, come here. Here's a way true. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Ship was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Actually still works? Uh, good old shortwave radio. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Come in, please! Do you read us? Over. Uh, Over. Oh, oh, uh, okay. At least there's someone listening. Uh, the signal's in and out, though. Uh. If you can hear me, we're on board an abandoned freighter. 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Over.
Hey, look at this. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitch is a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect, big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right, Fliss. Ready? generator so we can power the radio. We'll wait here by the radio. Hey. This way. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Altercation. Ten days on the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time.
see this. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. That's gotta be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We knew they were scared of something. Weird stuff freaking everybody out. The officers, they thought it was just jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? I mean, maybe there was a connection? Maybe they made contact? It's a theory, I guess. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. What do you think these guys are all about? The fishermen? Yeah. Oh, money. I feel like they're just in over their heads or something. 